This series of videos is going to be on the conservation of energy as kinetic and potential energy are changed back and forth during various different kinds of motion. And it's going to include a couple of videos that I've made and a couple of external links to YouTube videos. We're going to use the roller coaster as our primary example of this uh, particular kind of interaction of energies. But let's start off with this question. How do mountains get so tall and what does the work that gets all that mass up so high? Um, and this assumes that you know a little bit about geology, especially about plate tectonics. You may know that the crust of the Earth is broken up into these plates, and these plates are, in essence, floating around on a semi-liquid uh, mantle material that's underneath them. And because there is currents in this mantle material, the plates are moving around. So let's take the Rocky Mountains, for example. The Rocky Mountains get there because got there because the Pacific Plate is actually running into the North American plate and as a result being pushed down underneath the North American plate, which creates mountains out on the West Coast and also creates volcanoes out there like Mount St. Helens in Washington. But then because of the crumpling up of the North American plate, we got the Rocky Mountains. And if you look at various different mountains around the world, they tend to be caused by this plate tectonic interaction. In fact, the uh, Himalayas are still being formed right today by the crashing of India into the southern part of the Asian continent. So we're talking here about mechanical work being done by this um, energy inside of the Earth in the mantle material then being used to increase the potential energy of huge tons and tons of rock to get those things lifted up high. All right, so the first thing we're going to do in this series is we're going to actually break off from this one. You're going to watch this video, which has to do with uh, roller coasters. And what we're looking for in this is how kinetic energy and potential energies are being used um, both to help the roller coaster go and also to make the roller coaster more exciting. So next you're going to then hit this YouTube video on the uh, roller coaster.